Hey everyone, welcome back to some green hell. I know it's gonna look weird, but we're back at the original camp. I actually streamed this game twice since you saw the last episode. And you can see I went from day 34 to day 48. So we're on this save now. Back here, day 48. I was cruising around doing a, diff a bunch of different stuff. I, I found a native camp here, I found a native camp here found this little place um but the main thing was i found i think it was at this native camp the weapon rack is something i wanted and I just i went adventuring around but we're going to be heading back now and on the way back we i came through i actually discovered a, a new pathway through here rather than up this way we had went up this way and up to the airport and then down all through this but there's a cave system here but it looked like something was out on this island, so I think we're going to head out there now and see what's out on that island. As far as that goes, I don't know if these proteins are they are not done yet. Oh, they're so close. Man, they take forever. All right, well, uh, I don't think I have any. I have bananas, and I have an empty water. Oh, my gosh. My, my thing is empty. I don't know how much is in here. I just drank from it. 11. I think I can take it out of some of these. 31. 41. 51. Hey, we can count. 61. 71. 81. 91. That one's empty. Too high. <laughs> we have to go like two hydration at a time now because it's raining 98 and 90 oops messed that one up up oh, going backward there 88 98 this one's got five hydration in it 100 woohoo Almost went backwards on that. All right, we'll drink this. Now, this pot is a second pot that I found. So I'm going to leave this one here. That's a second one that I found. All right, we got to head up to... Oh, I just saw some delicious unknown nuts fall from the tree as I was walking by. These are uh, really good for fats. So that those two nuts right there give us 30 fats. That filled up our fats. Super good. All right, we need to get to... Oh, where am I going? Yeah, we need to get, I think, this way. Anyway, so a uh, few interesting things came about while streaming. The interaction is so good doing that that you get, like, you know, immediate... Oh, shoot! <laughs> that dude's just sitting there, and there's some fruit right there I wanted. Is he by himself? Hoota booga hooga booga! He's got a boat. He's got a boat. Ooga booga booga! Dude, oh, I, oh, okay. I was gonna say that hit his arm. You might. All right, it, he's straddling the spear. Thank you. He's got another tribal spear. I think mine's still okay. So I kept, I kept dropping the, um, let's throw that one down. Let's check this one if it's 100%. I kept dropping this and making an axe and then throwing the axe away and picking this back up. The only good thing that I did was now I'm, whenever I make an axe, it's like 100%. But someone told me, hey, you can use these things to chop. And now I have my chopper here and I can keep this all. So it was really helpful streaming and people, you know, some people knew, some people don't. You know, they just ask a, a really good question like, hey, can you do this or can you do that? And then you try, I try it and it works or it doesn't work. But it worked out good. That worked out pretty good. That was one of the major things. A couple of the other things I got, I got some different... Uh, I got like parasites for the first time, so I had to go. No, parasites wasn't the first time. I got a um, infected wound from a jaguar that attacked me. An infected wound, 
And what I needed to do was... Yeah, I don't need that coconut right now. What I needed to do was... I didn't bandage it, bandage, bandage it in time. And it and it was on my right arm. It was disgusting. It was like the scrap, the claw marks from the Jaguar, right? But then it was all like black because it was infected. So I had to go and f through the help of the stream, you know, it's like, yes, you can look it up. You can look it up in here, you know, under, under this. But they helped out. You know, it's like starts with scratch abrasion and then it la or laceration. Wound infection. Place maggots on the wound and wait until dead. Tissue is removed. Painful. Reduces sanity. So I had to go find maggots and put it on there. And then as soon as it cl they cleaned them, I had to put it a bandage on it. And it took me a while. I First, I took one of those little larva worms from a tree stump <laughs> and i was trying to do that the gross thing was that the uh the uh um, when you put the larva on your arm it's this gigantic worm on your arm and you have to stand there and like stare at it you have to stare at it because if you you know get out of that menu it basically knocks the uh the thing off your arm and turned out that the larva was the wrong thing now you know, you've seen as we've been cruising around in here, like dead animals, and you can get the maggots off of them. But an easier way someone someone clued me in on was, um, like as I was drying meat, uh, just take it off and harvest the raw meat, and it'll become, or no, you take it off, set it down, let it spoil, and then you harvest the spoiled meat. And it gives you a couple of maggots. But look, see? Maggots right there. You can get them from a corpse. I couldn't find a dead animal anywhere. And I was looking. But you can get them from these. Or if you can't find them like me, let some food spoil and harvest the spoiled food. It'll give you some. So that was that was interesting. But I was able to finally... I have all... Um, metal armor now so i only had it on my legs before but you can see here on the left arm and now on the right arm i have all metal armor um this one this armor here got destroyed a couple of times like my right arm for some reason got destroyed three different times when it was just bone armor so while i was down here i i had everything equipped and set up to make more um molds uh cook down some more tin cans so i did that and just made metal armor for each arm. Now we're heading back. And oh, the the other thing that I brought with me was I brought these two obsidian stones. I had three. I made a blade just to check it out. So I got two obsidian stones. But I also brought these four painkillers here. Now, I believe what I have to do to try and find a cure is something with those poison dart frogs. You know, as far as the story goes, it was leading us along the line saying that, the, that they harvest stuff from the poison dart frogs and then they inject the kids with it when they're young a little bit at a time and all of a sudden they're immune so i'm thinking that's the immunity but the problem is i'm not immune to them and i'll have to grab one and i'm going to get poisoned so one thing poison does is reduces your sanity and those painkillers the only thing they the only thing that i can see they do is uh, gives you three sanity back. So it's possible that while I'm trying to get to that point, you know, like maybe bring bring one over there or something or harvest it or whatever I have to do, um, that I can at least try and stay alive with the, uh, the sanity meter. Oh, look what they're, a little Sarko action. They don't call them Sarko in here. What are they called? Alligators? I saw one right here. Oh, shoot. Yeah, those, I don't know if you can see those worms right where the cursor is right there. Those are what I put on my arm. It was totally the wrong thing. Headshot. So, I finally fought one of these one time, and I hit, look at his necks all stretched out. Uh, oh, a caiman, called a caiman. 
Uh, I headshotted it and one, basically one-shotted it. So it's kind of why I knew I could take him on right there. But swimming, totally different. Totally different. And so far, from what I've seen, is they're not, they're not, they're nowhere near as fast as the Puma or the Jaguar, so. Oh, I'm still overloaded by a lot. Um, that gave me four. Can I keep two? One day, one day. Two days. All right. That little place right there, that's like an island. I need to try and get out there. Now, there is a, um, there is, right back there where we started this video, but like my original, you know, camp, there is, there was a trap there. Oh, shoot. What is, oh, it's a turtle. Can I stand on the lily pads? <laughs> There is a trap there for frogs. There's a log over there. Can you stand on these? Drink <clears throat> water dirty. Nope, you can't stand on the lily pads. Okay, we got that going for us. Oddly enough, it, it would, I thought maybe they were collecting water. But that's just the lake. There's. It looks like only one path to get out there. Oh, we may have to spend the night out here. What time is it? 13, 13, 37, man. If I do, I'm not going to dry the meat. I'm going to cook it. It's faster. But the dried meat lasts way longer. Oh, look at that. There's a tarp thingy up here. So this is... Whoa, dude. Some of these fish do not look friendly. They do not look friendly. All right, hopefully there's no Ooga Boogas out here. New map location. Right here. So we found the new map location. Is that a note? Oh. Oh, look at this. North, south, east, west. And it's saying the plane was flying this way. So, if you were to go... Northeast ish. That's how you get to the airport. We luckily found that. We found that. Alright. What the heck was that sound? Okay, that palm tree there is not helping. See what the, this is the note that we just got. This one. No? This one. Another abandoned camp. Am I going crazy? Where'd everybody go? They couldn't have just disappeared. Should I take these things? What if they come back? What is that? Giant snake? Oh, shoot. Look at that. Thing. Is that alive? It's dead. It's like a. Anaconda or boa constrictor. So this again looks like almost like um well these could be bamboo walls I guess but I, I was thinking like a jail cell. There's an axe here. A group of four people heading in the northwest direction. Two men, two women. Turn dynamics. Says two couples. No guns. Matches knives. Finding surveillance to harmless, the doctor could help. Huh. Interesting. There's an axe here on the ground. There's Fuck. a tet teddy bear. Some orange juice. That orange juice. Did I just step in something to get dirty? I just got dirty. All right. I need to drink that orange juice yet, but I definitely need to start a campfire, and that'll lighten me up. <laughs> Look at that. Something right there. A prawn trap. Cool. All right. Let's start, let's start a campfire and cook this meat. Um, sorry about moving slow. We're just going to have to deal with it right now. 
It looked like there was almost a campfire set up right here. Like, this is a ready-made camp. Like, we definitely need to look around here. Some chips. Ember required. They already have a campfire set up. Interesting. All right. Look at it. I also found the uh, tribal fire starter. So check out this thing, man. It's it's pretty cool. I got a bird's nest. We'll use... Uh, Oh, interesting. I didn't have a lot of dried leaves. Look at this thing. Kind of unique underneath the foot with the rope or the vine. Here we go. The banana spoiled? No. Didn't spoil. I cook these bad boys up. This thing's still got a day on it. Yeah. Cook that stuff up. See, we got over here. Open up this bag. We got beef jerky time. Ooh. What, is that an empty can? Let's see if those are. Oh, they weren't empty cans. Now, those cans are really good. If you see, it gives you protein, fat, and carbs. A little uh, taster's choice. Here's another note. I think we're getting closer to the Yabu Haka. So, these are other people looking for them. Carlos tells us not to trust. Eh, things are not good with Sophia, though. She's terribly stuck up. These are... These seem like random people. Right? Like... Like, seriously, like... Okay, we can sleep here. Nice. Um, These seem like random people, which is not good. You know, it just goes to prove how we... How I, my character, screwed up, right? I'm going to just leave it here for a second if you want to pause and read this. And we're back. Yeah, it's very interesting. What's that? Oh, a fishing rod. Another note. You can pause here and then I'll scroll down. Blanca. Interesting. I don't know who uh, who these people are. Bag of nuts. But they had a lot of food. A lot of good food. Oh, some painkillers, too. All right. So my meat is cooked already. Look how fast that cooked. That's pretty good. Meat cooked. All right. Good. So let's see. We're at 53 pounds. Wow! Look at all the look at all the good food we've got now, which is good. That's good to have this stuff because I don't think I've ever had my health at 100 percent, and you have to basically eat to get that up. Well, we've got some good stuff here. We're gonna go through it, but uh, maybe get rid of. the sticks and if we have to do something I'll just have to uh that barely got us anywhere we're gonna sleep though we're gonna sleep and um we're gonna have to eat when we wake up in the morning so yeah we'll have to sleep twice all right so we're at the snake camp we've got some bananas over there we got a nice fire here an actual fire Let's see what else might be here we were looking over here they had a campfire there Coconuts, teddy bears. Uh, speaking of that, I think that these things don't last very long. Unknown nut. Two days. Interesting. Okay. Even though there's those caiman around, this is a it's a pretty neat place here. It almost seems like there was there was more people. They got the save game and the sleep things here. What's out here? This isn't the way... Oh, it's a second way across. So there's two different ways onto the island. One we came in from... One we came in from this side, from the west side. And it seems that this is the east side. So east and west, you can get on the island. We'll probably exit that way, because I think that's where we want to go. See the big tarp up in the air? Is that like for... What is that for? Shade? Water? Something. All right. Um, I say we get... I want to get a move on. So the fishing rod is pretty cool. 
fishing rod. I've never made a fishing rod. Do I even have the ability to make a fishing rod? Spear, bows, fire bows, bladed axes, bone spears, tribal fire starters. See, that's one of the new things I found. Bone armor, metal armor, metal, metal, metal. Hmm, I wonder if I pick it up, will you think that they'll say, hey, this guy. There, new entry, fishing rod. Fishing rod trap. It's pretty, <laughs> it's pretty whack. I know I wasn't doing the best. I just want to see it. Oh, a fush, fushing. It's a fushing. All right, let's take a look and see. So fish hook, bone hook. There's the fishing rod. We didn't have anything here. Long stick, long bamboo. Oh, a Brazil nut shell. Oh, I had found a, just a couple of those through my adventures and there's not a lot of them now this this little cage trap I think we can catch frogs with this and what I'll do is I'll go down there and try and catch a frog as close to that location as I can because I don't know what it's gonna be like like him him or her it stinging me all right let's sleep let's sleep it off man what if something attacked me while I was sleeping you know? Like, what if? What if? Then we're gonna dump a bunch of weight here by eating and drinking in the morning. Let's just double check and see where we're at now so we don't kind of lose control of it. Yeah, see the proteins. 36 protein. The water. Alright, let's finish the sleep. And we're gonna go back, we're gonna go back the way, the new way, because going up by the airport and down through that... Oh shoot, I wasn't paying attention. Sorry, dang it, I went way too long. Let's give me that other orange juice right here. There's an orange juice right there, I want that. No, not that. I want the orange juice. I thought I was gonna be able to get that orange juice. Water protein. All right, so this is only going to last another day. Let's eat that. Let's eat this. Those are still on two days. Put those up there so I can see them. All right, so I need some fats anyway. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> All right, pretty good. Let's grab some liquid from this. Drink. All right, then we can also take, uh, I think it's a little fats. I think it's a little fats. Eat. Oh, fats and carbs. Okay, nice. Get those out of there. Yeah, see, just getting rid of some of that food was all we needed. Maybe drink a little bit more while we're here. I know I have my, my canteen. Drink. Gives you 15 hydration. That's not terrible. <gasps> All right, we're pretty darn good right now. Okay, let's get a move on. So based off the map, I need to get off this island and head straight south. So... Okay, so we get off east and then we're going to end up going that way. And we came in over there somewhere. We're going to leave that fishing rod here. It's a pretty cool camp. I I mean, I think it would be a cool location to uh, set up camp other than the fact that there's caiman crocodiles everywhere, right? That's not good. I mean, that's some nasty looking water. Nasty. All right, and then I said straight south, so hopefully I can find this place.
does it seem like I'm going farther? It always seems like more. 34. Oh, and I was saying like 20. I always said 34 west, 26.5. It's it's not point. It's south. I was I was pointed out in the stream. You know, sometimes you just don't pay attention to what. Well, okay. Let's let's reiterate that. Most of the time, I don't pay attention to what's going on. But that, for me, is half the fun, and hopefully it is for you guys as well. So somewhere up here should be a um, one of those, I think one of the gun grappling hook locations. I think. Oh, you know what? This is, I, that's where I need to be right there, but... I jumped, I jumped down the wall. I jumped down the wall. I gotta get up on that ledge somehow. All right, I was up there. There's no grapple point here, right? No. All right, I ended up sliding down the wall right here. So I don't know how to actually get up there. Interesting, I wonder if it's a one way only. You know what I mean? One one way. Now I thought when we were first in this region, we got all turned around backward. And we ran across a location that was um that had that's where we first identified that there was a gun grapple in the game. And it was before it was that episode when I was on my way, like we found the airport at the end of that episode. But because I didn't have the map, I'm thinking, it didn't show it. I thought it was I thought it was possibly over here. Maybe. I don't I don't know. But if you guys remember that episode, I was so so badly turned around. I think I jump up there. No. I don't I don't have hops in this game. I don't have hops. Look at my health, though. My health's looking good. It's up there pretty good with all that delicious food. That middle camp there is actually chock-a-block full of beef jerky and chips and all the good stuff that you're supposed to eat, right? Oh. Oh, darn. I thought this was like a... Oh, I'm on the level, but look, you can't get across there. Interesting. I think that this might be a one way only. Like you can only come come down it. You can't go back up it. Cause there's like a broken what's this? Uh did I see this before? This is a little weird, right? It's like a little protective cave here. Where are we at? We're at 3529. So we're at 3529. Yeah, we're right here just to the west of that of this thing which I was trying to get up. Hmm. That means we'll have to go back through this way, which is nightmarish man that way was so whack this is a interesting little thing here but you know what you understand what i'm saying i can't get back up this way but it's it seems like it seems like uh it's a one-way only path that you can only come down it like like what i used it for not knowing at the time but when i found it it was a total shortcut to get back but now it's no longer a shortcut it's a long cut yeah, there's no way across here. Yeah, I can't I can't stay balanced on that. So though, I, there's no way for me to get up to that. And I didn't see anything up there that was like kick, you know, kick ladder down or something. Yeah, there's nothing there. Shoot, man. All right, we're going to have to go um so from here then to get we're here. I don't even know what this is. I don't know what this is. But we're going to follow this ridge. 
We're going to follow this ridge, and it should lead us to uh, the location that we ultimately got up uh, heading toward the airfield. doing good we're doing good you see what I mean with the map you can see this ridge line on that map which is cool I don't think we got this map though till we hit the airport so that that was one of the reasons why I was kind of aimlessly wandering around but it does show of something I think this could be a it, it's a campfire symbol obviously maybe it's like a native camp or something or Something. I'd like to try and get up there, actually, now. So if we don't see another route, as soon as we see that thing, we'll go up it and then hook a hard right to see if we can find that camp, which looks like it could be possibly up here. If we look at the map, it's uh, basically, uh, say, 3227, and we're at 3226. So it's a little farther south. It's a little farther south, which means, yeah, it's it's up there. It's up there somewhere. Oh, shoot. Oh, dude, I'm up on the edge of a dang cliff. Oh, my God. Okay, okay. I didn't mean to do this. I'm fine. Where are you? <laughs> yeah, who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Puma. That's a puma. That's a puma. Now, we don't have a lot of weight to be getting meat, but I'm going to harvest him. No, 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 don't harvest him. I shouldn't have harvested him because I'll have to wash myself. Yeah, that was a mistake. I just wanted to kill. I just wanted to prove my metal. Only two, so the puma only gives you two. Dang it, now I'm going to find some dang water. Remember, the that area up there has no water. This was, this was a grave mistake here. I, sh I didn't even think about that. Because I did find out the hard way that if you eat whilst dirty, uh, you give yourself parasites. So, that's a thing. <clears throat> Now, we're right we're right back to where we came off the island. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Isn't that funny? All right, we're good. I don't know why I washed myself again. All right, I got my tribal spear back. Okay, yeah, we came off the island right there. And we need to head back where we just were. Looking for that hook point. I want to see what that that image on my map is. I think we killed the puma right here, right right here somewhere. Looks like in here possibly is the hook point. Or a cave. Or nothing. Or maybe this is the way to that that camp thingy that I don't think I came this way. Maybe I did. Well please don't tell me I'm going out the way I came in. That would be really bad. All right, we got to check and see where we're at. 32.25. Okay, so 32.25. Oh, jeez. Okay, so... Is it possible that that thing is over here? Maybe it's up on the very top. So winding through this little area, it's taken us farther, taken us farther north than I wanted to go, but. Okay, here's a cave, here we go. Now, the only way I'll know if this was the way we came through is I made a, um, I made a little shelter, right? As soon as we breached through here, I think. I'm pretty sure. Thirty-one twenty-five. So thirty-one 
25. We're we're in here. Interesting. This is definitely up on a high ridge. I don't know if you have to come around to get up there. This might take me up there. I don't know. If I turn right here, go take go try and find it. It'd just be interesting to see what the heck it is. Yep, this is the way I came. Look, right here's my shelter, my little campfire setup. Look. Here's my campfire and my shelter right there. Alright. Let's see if we can find that thing. So as soon as we came up, hook a right. Let's see if we can find it. I think it's up there. And I have no idea how to get Okay, there's a den animal. I want to see what this is. So a lot of this going back was just really looking in areas that I hadn't looked before. Oh, I thought that was a symbol there. See, this is about the farthest over before we go back out that we're going to be. So 3126, 3126. Yeah, it's still, still got to go south. South to 27. Yeah, it's it's that way. Which means it's up there. Somehow I'd have to get up on this ridge. And it's pretty tall. Unless there's another hook here or something. I think I'm kind of heading in the direction of that cenote, so that's good. I think everything kind of funnels toward it. So theoretically, we're going the right way. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe I'll get completely lost. I don't see anything. I wonder how the heck you get up there. What is this? Oh, I thought that was a pathway. Alright, I was I was pretty happy that I was going to be able to bypass the underwater swimming and that cenote to go back, but apparently I was wrong. Alright, I think we're on the wrong side of this. We got to be on the other side of this. This was that, I think this is that little, let's eat some fruit. Nothing like little carbs and hydration. Yeah, we're doing good. Ant Hill. I think this was that little like island. If there, yeah. See, I walked across that, and I came back across. But I think I need to be up, up a level, unless this folds down. Will you let me out of here? time is it it is four so the cenotes down there we'll go up to the airport spend the night at the airport i think we have enough food really when you sleep like this early <clears throat> you'll have to sleep twice so just make sure you have enough food um i may have some coconuts out here that'll have water in them I won't have my pot here because I took my pot from here and took it to wherever I was going next, which ended up being that, that camp. My, my current camp. All right. Well, we could, we could have some meat, too. How did that hit him in the back? I was aimed at his head. You guys saw it. I just saw something fall over there. I think it was a coconut. Oh, you know what, though? There's no water to wash here. Yeah, I'm not I'm not going to make that mistake again. We'll bring this over. I'm not going to make that mistake again. Cut him up. I won't be able to eat it. And the only water that I found around here is down in that cenote, which is pretty wild. Pretty deep. I'm gonna throw this on the ground here. Got all that wood. My drying rack, everything that I made. 
What? Makami dried. Oh, I wonder if the countdown doesn't start until you pull it off the dryer because that should be totally spoiled. I will, it's been like 15 days since I've been here. I'll check that. Let's go sleep it off. I'll check that. But that'll be, that would be interesting if that's the case. Now, what did I leave here? An axe, some empty cans, and some bird feathers. All right. Let's sleep it away. Sleep away the night. <sighs> it's double sleep. You can see I'm starting to get hungry or thirsty or something. It starts to gnaw away at your health. But you got to do what you got to do. <sighs> this time I'll keep an eye on it, not let it go so darn fast. I think about 6.30 is good. All right. Now as far as food goes, not too bad. Let's have uh, are all these two days. Yeah, eat. Eat that. Go ahead and save. I think we're at day 49. 49 or 50 now. So that's pretty good. <laughs> a lot of sleeping went into those days. You can see the water dripping out, but I don't have a thing there. Let's drink this. We'll harvest it. There is a couple coconuts over there, and I'll, I'll put these down next to them. And then I dropped some stones here, too. All right, so we'll eat these. We'll drop these down in case we, for some reason, come back through here. We'll have more water. And we tried this, right? Did I try this? Oh, no, it does work. It does work. All right, let's check this out, see if this works. Now, it says it's dried. We'll take it, and we'll take a look. No, it's spoiled. It's spoiled. So in this case here, if you harvest it, you would get maggots from it. So it's it definitely should be what it is because all right, we need some protein now. There's 10 proteins in that, 30 proteins in that, 15 proteins in that. Fats. Oh, beef jerky. Wow, dude. Beef jerky is really good. The thing about this stuff is you want to keep this because it doesn't, it does not spoiling, right? I think I'll go with this one. Get rid of that can. Check out where we're at on that. That yeah, did okay. All right. <sighs> Here we go. Let's try and get to, let's try and get back to our, well, on the way there, we'll be on the lower level. We could go straight over to that other camp and possibly try and build a trap and see if we can trap a dart frog. And that'll be something we can do maybe next episode, right? Next video might be the last one because we already did the one ending that had, well, you know, I guess we'll have to, once we, if we do find a cure, we have to go back through that ending again and the one uh, dialogue that was locked because I didn't have a cure, we, we'll get to try that one, I guess. I'm just, it's the only thing I can think of. means I'm going to have to go through the Wabu Haska again. Aya, Aya Haska? I'm going to have to drink the juice, the Kool-Aid. I'm going to have to drink the Kool-Aid. <laughs> if you guys don't remember, this is quite the, quite the experience going this way. You said that other way is such a shortcut, but this thing here is broken, so it's all you can only go. I don't even know if you're supposed to be able to make it down. Like I slid off the cliff, not a cliff. It was I don't know, it looked like about 15 foot drop or something. I slid off of it, which was interesting. All right, so here's the cenote. Cenote. This is where we got the uh, breathing apparatus. All right, here we go. If we can get through here without any piranhas or anything eating us. Someone was making this their normal route though because they put these ropes up, you know? Kind of, that one got buried a little bit. 
You know, the other good thing is it doesn't seem that your air runs out. Once you get the breather, you've got it. Like, you, I don't see that... I don't see that thing going down, which would suck if it did. If you had to go around and try and find air canisters, that wouldn't be good. It would be, like, too much, right? Too much. We gotta work our way down through the uh, climbing ropes. Down there is where we're going. How do you slide off that, these waterfalls without getting hurt? Doubt it. You shouldn't be able to, right? You know, adventuring like this from one end to the other is actually pretty fun. Now that I've not panicking, and if you can spot the predators at a distance, you can get a headshot on him with a spear. If it doesn't insta kill him, it's going to it's going to do a lot of damage. And on the warriors, if you can at least get either a spear or a an arrow into them, they're going to bleed out. So what I found, what I try to do, because I'm limited on, I've got three metal arrows that I've been reusing, and I have three spears. So if I can get like a spear or an arrow into one. And then another, and then another. Did that go the right way? Oh, yeah. Here we go. You just let him bleed out rather than trying to get another hit on him. But you gotta... You gotta avoid him. You gotta avoid him. All right. We want to stay to the right. Not, I hope I don't jinx myself here, but I was pretty lucky the first time through here. I didn't come across any caiman when I was swimming. My concern is when you swim, your uh, weapon is stowed. It's not out. So you're kind of at the mercy of the swim. And at any point, I could step on a stingray again or get bit by a piranha. Oh, there's some fish in here, dude. I did not like the looks of those fish. Man, we gotta get way over there. There's no, like, running, like, speeding up your swim either. I've been trying. It's all the same, same speed. We gotta get over there now. Trying to stay on land as much as I can. Oh shoot, what is that? There was something big right there. Right there where I'm pointing. Oh, I'm going for it. I don't know what piranha look like in the game. I've seen pic- oh jeez, there's fish all around me. I've seen pictures of piranha. I don't want to see them up close in the game, I can tell you that right now. I'm glad you guys have been enjoying the longer episodes. It's it's like, um, it flows better, you know, when you don't have to chop them up so much. Because in a slower game, In a slower game like this, it's uh, it takes a while. Okay, so that's the way up to my hut here. So let's go over while we're down here and see if we could make... Um, well, let's see if there's any of those dart frogs around and I'll make one of those little traps. <coughs> you know what I mean? In a, in a slower paced game... Uh, you have to go longer, not necessarily for things to happen, but you know what I mean. If it's high pace, then yeah, shorter episodes are fine. But these these slower pace games, it just it just seems better to do it a little bit longer. All right, here's frogs right here. So we definitely can make something over here. What I want to do is try and get it as close as I can because I think I'm gonna have to pick it up and carry it in here. Alright. 
So, what do we need to make that trap? Let's make a trap. And it would be this trap. 16 sticks? Holy cow. That's the right one. That it's a little if that's the the little trap that I saw. All right, whatever. We got to collect sticks. Your guys favorite. All right, let's try and see what this thing's got to offer. It's not quite as fast as my axe, but my axe is pretty efficient. Oh, that just gave us a lot of stuff there. We don't need any long sticks. Should do pretty good. Right, with this stuff here. Just this one. Is this one okay? So we needed six small sticks, 16 regular sticks, and four rope. Now, I don't see any frogs here, but I see them over here. This is farther away, too. sticks regular sticks two I think I only needed six more I can harvest these things that I chopped already Stick. harvest okay I don't want the plank anyway eight sticks that should be enough yeah, I don't want the plank in there. <clears throat> it's just extra weight. Really wish these frogs were closer, but give the old college effort. Oh, I'm out of small sticks. Get in there, poison dart frog. All right. It's pretty good. All right, I think what I'll do is I'm going to save over here, but I'm going to head back up to my place. Chill there for a little bit. I'm going to... Yeah, see what I need to do as far as... What did I leave in here? The bone axe, which I really like, and the machete. Really like that stuff. Um, let's save it here. What time is it? Oh, it's only 12. Okay, it's only 12. Anyway, I'm going to head back up to my place and we'll pick up the next video from there and we'll try and see if we can do, maybe do the ending, the other ending. All right, thanks for watching, you guys.